Oh, hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to a game called Timberborn. Today is the release date of the game, if you are wondering. There's a link in the video description if you want to check it out. Video is not sponsored. I just really enjoy playing with beavers and building up little roll. colonies. So the last video, we did unlock the new Iron Teeth. Now, I haven't played with these guys. I know some of you guys have been probably watching other channels play with the Iron Teeth. I haven't done any of that, so I kind of want to go into this with a fresh look on my own and see what we can do with it. Now we have a couple different maps. We tried the lakes out with the others. There's Meander, which seems kind of cool. Uh, Diorama, that's super tiny. I don't know what to do. I kind of like the idea of waterfalls, but I don't want to mess with height too much. So maybe let's just go with Meander and see what happens. There they go, hauling wood across the bridge. I love it. This guy's got a little hat on. It's adorable. And I'd also like to thank Raycon for sponsoring this video. So check it out. These are the everyday earbuds. And since we live in a very active world, I'm constantly using earbuds to help me tune up my surroundings. I use them all the time when I'm gaming, listening to a podcast while I'm mowing the lawn, or even finding a great audiobook to listen to while I'm walking on my treadmill. These everyday earbuds also come with a bunch of different gel tips for comfort, and unlike other brands, they don't stick out of your ears. They also start at about half of the price as other premium audio brands, but they sound just as good, and they have a 32-hour battery life. So if you're looking for a great pair of earbuds and want to support my channel, make sure you click on that link in the video description or go to buyraycon.com blitz to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. They have a 45-day happiness guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Now the main thing that I know about these little iron teeth guys i watched a little dev update from them uh baby beavers are made using a breeding pod they just i don't know how it works but using the power of berries and wood they can make baby beavers i don't understand it i just play games i don't know how that goes so we do have a couple things here we have some berries we have some living trees a bunch of dead trees some runes here that are kind of cool because i know that uh, these iron teeth really like playing with the metal and there's a shredder and we have some water across here it looks like it's just one big meander in the river so that's interesting we could come down here and cut this out I'm wondering if we shouldn't make like two dam systems. It looks like we could make a, a levee across here, flood this area out uh, so we could have a little more water going back into our main zone. And then we have another area. This comes down. That's kind of cool. We could build a levee across here if we had a lot of wood. So I'm guessing the first things first is we should probably make a big road to the water and then put in a, uh, a deep water pump here. That could work out nicely. And we'll make a path to that. And then probably, I don't know, two small water tanks. Let's make those back closer to the main area. We'll do that in a little bit. Uh, also, it would be nice to lumberjack the entire island uh, at once. So we didn't have to have, like, multiple lumberjack stations. That's kind of cool right there. I like that. We'll do, like, I don't know, four. Should we do four? We'll do a path to those. And then probably on the other side, we'll do our lumber storage area. That that lumber pile looks different. We could probably stack multiple on top of each other. That's kind of cool. All right, then we'll queue up the cutting of the trees. I'm just going to kind of do all of the basic stuff at the beginning here. And we can cut down those trees. And I don't really know what else to do there. Also, we probably need food. I mean, we obviously need food. So let's drive a little bit of a road right through there. And I'm going to convert probably all of this green area into carrot farms. So let's do that right quick. Carrots over here. And like that. I don't know if that's a good idea right next to it, though. So we'll do our carrots like that. Should be pretty good. And we'll have to build up a, a farmhouse. One right there. Neato. And probably a gathering flag, too. Oh, that reminds me. We also need a warehouse. For the food because we don't get like base food storage anymore all right so we got priorities water number one and then we have probably gathering flag number two warehouse number two and then we can do this one so that's top priority this is top priority and then this will be like minor priority and we'll need definitely a couple of these made too yeah they're gonna make those first i don't know why they made those first but we'll have four beavers chopping down trees nice oh cool and it looks like they're already gathering some berries. I think this thing, yeah, it stores 20 berries at a time. I'm going to put those water tanks maybe right here. Three of them sound good. We also probably should get a science station. Let's build up another road right next to our main hub. And then we'll put in two inventor huts. 
Because, I mean, we're the Iron Teeth. We like science and technology. And the beavers are just milling around doing nothing before they fall asleep. <laughs> homeless. I should probably fix that homeless problem, too. Um, barracks. Oh, ten inhabitants. That's kind of cool. That's a lot more than normal. We'll click that one there. We'll put another one next to it. They're tall. Interesting. We can make some sort of weird, like, city center here. Can I do another one? No, not really. That was bad planning. Look at me being a bad city planner. It's almost like I used to be an engineer or something. Nice! The farmhouse is in. We don't have any workers for it yet. Maybe I should get some workers, because they're dehydrating. I got an idea. We'll fire one of the... No, we, we want both the builders. Let's get rid of two lumberjacks so they can start planting. This is looking pretty good. We have our crops growing. We have some water being pumped. We definitely need more water stored before the end of the dry cycle or wet cycle. And we still have a lot of trees to be cut down too, so that's neat. I should probably make some of those baby pods. We're gonna need baby, baby beavers. I just wanna see what these look like. Where should we put them? Right over here? Actually, this area right here would be good. Three of them right there. Ah, let's do it on the other side. I don't know. I don't know where to put them. I've never played with them before. What about a little nursery zone on this way? How many do I make? Do I make three? I'll make four. Even though we're probably gonna need berries, I think it'll be fine. Vulzala has grown up. That's awesome. And still was Zebra Man. Ze Zeb Zebijin. Zebian? Zebian. I don't know. <laughs> How do you pronounce that word? Can't really talk beaver today. Still chopping down a lot of trees. Nobody's unemployed. That's nice. Someone's homeless, though. That's not nice. Wait. Does that mean this thing got done? Wow. <laughs> There's a lot of them inside. And they're not very happy. They're only level three. Awesome. So all of our crops have been planted. 63%. I have some unemployed people. I'm going to make this go back. Um, I would like to make these unemployed until this is harvestable. Yeah, there we go. So they went to start in the inventions. That's good. We just kind of got to micromanage the storage a little bit, or the working a little bit. All right, desired. We're going to bump that up to 100 with 100 carrots. Hopefully that'll work out. I know we're going to have to use the berries to make babies, though. Uh-oh, they ran out of trees in range. What? That's illegal. How do we not... How do we not get those in range? How does this one have it in range, but this one doesn't? That's strange. Anyway, let's chop down a bunch of other trees. And we're working on science. So I think the first science thing I want is the stairs. So we can kind of navigate up here to chop down more trees. Also, there's the runes that we can get. But I think we're going to need to go across the river or something pretty soon. Maybe work our way down and, and dam this section off. But then we'll probably have to have the levees unlocked too. Oh, and the carrots are ready to go. Back to work. Oh, look at the carrots. They're going nicely. Okay, we're going to fire you because you're pointless. <laughs> Sorry, you're not pointless, but you are. Carrots are more important than your other job chopping down trees. We can wait on that. I wish the gatherer would work on that too. Like, why can't the gatherer gather carrots? Ooh, they're happy now. Happier than ever. Okay, can we make a baby pod? Can we make a baby here? A baby maker? I guess we don't have enough logs yet. We definitely need a baby maker. Let's make some... Let's make a couple baby makers. Yes, yes. Make some baby makers. I think that's the first time I ever said that. Ooh, ooh, we made a baby maker. They need berries now. Good thing we have a few extra berries. Ah, there's a baby in the baby maker. What the world? What is going on now? <laughs> it's so weird. There's like a baby just bobbing in there. Is that what they, it's so, so strange to me. <laughs> it's not how babies are made. I feel like I probably need another farm. Might be a good idea. Oh, we're also running out of trees. It's kind of not very good. Oh, ha ding, look. There's four little babies bobbing in the baby maker pods. <laughs> I love it. Okay, we got another project to do now. We need to make a lumber mill. Now, I did some checking, and it doesn't look like I can really hit the water nicely. So we're just going to make a, a wheel on there to run on to begin with. That should be good, because these are all two tiles, two tiles tall. Tongue twister. Two tiled tall tongue twister. And we have completely burned up every single tree on our little pond pile. Mm. There's some up here that we could get to if we built the stairs. Can I unlock stairs yet? I can. But I can't do that until I have the planks. I'm really concerned about running out of trees for these two projects. That is not good at all. Okay, that's made. That didn't take that much. This one, wow, 40 logs to make a hamster wheel? 
And that takes 25. I'm definitely not going to have enough trees here. Uh-oh. Um, great. Yeah, we're going to have to prioritize this one first. We might have enough. Oh, no. And then dry season's coming now. Oh, boy. Okay, we can totally pause that. We don't need this thing to be built at all right now. We just need these guys to actually harvest. I want them. Yeah, harvesting is a good idea. Okay, we have this. That could be made. We could. That's fine. That's okay. I just need five more logs. Four more logs. We don't have any more. <laughs> there's zero. I mean, there's three logs. We're short. Three stupid logs. I guess we'll try building a lumberjack thing. I want it to kind of be maybe over here. And we'll build that there. I did want to build up here and then make a ladder up. So that would work. You have other work to do, my dudes. And I don't know. Are we going to be able to survive this? We have 130 water and about 200 food. That's okay. Building locks power. I know we still have babies being made. <laughs> They're going to pop out of there. It's going to be great. Good. And then this guy's going to start chopping down these trees. Okay. That'll work. And then you're going to build it here. No, you went into this one. We don't need that right now. Chat Rudia. We don't need that because you don't have any power. You don't have any power around here. Okay, good. Okay, we have the wheel now. I need to fire another beaver from... Ah, no, that's okay. We can let you build for a little bit. What can I fire? This guy? We could fire you. Oh, is this thing full too? Wow. That's crazy. We could fire a builder. We don't need a builder right now. We could fire two builders. Just kidding, we can't. Okay, that's working. We're getting a little bit. I just need four planks here so I can build uh, stairs up. I think that's a good spot to build. And I'll harvest these trees over here. It's just a few. Not too many, but it'll be good. There we go. Good. A couple more logs. Next thing in the science I want to make is the uh, this one, the forester. Okay, we can unlock that. Good. And then if we put the forester... Ooh, that's... Mm, I need it to be about right here. I want to hit that entire bottom area with fields before... Okay, pine, birch. We could do pine. Plant all of that into pine trees. Oh, there goes the dry season. <laughs> Look at it go. Whee! We're losing all the water in the world. It kind of is not very good. Oh, wow. And the entire map is dry now. The entire thing. There's not a lick of, of water on here. That's insane. Okay, I, can I destroy that? I kind of want to destroy that. I do want to bring my guys up to here, so I told them to build two of these. But we're not going to have any logs for now until the rest of the cycle. I don't think. There are some here that we still have. Uh, seven. Okay, those, let's just pause these. I wonder if I can make another inventor's hut or two. Takes 12 logs. I don't think I'll be able to. I don't think we have 12. Good. So the forester did get created. I'm hoping that we have enough logs hanging around for these. Maybe they can find one log somewhere. Oh yeah, the log made it in. Cool. So does that not go up top yet? We're gonna chop down these trees. Okay, it went up. Oh yes, can barely make it up there. And I don't really know what to do all, all season long. <laughs> We're getting a lot of baby beavers growing up. I don't have any wood available to me. We still have a half a cycle left. I wonder what the better play is to come over to this side and flood this out. I kind of want to. I think it'd be kind of fun to build up a levee all the way across here. Like somewhere where it's too tall and then flood this entire section of the map. That'd be kind of neat. Also, over here might be a better idea for right now, but it's so wide, too. Oh, the drought has ended. Good. Dry season one is completed. We survived. Nobody died. I still have quite a bit of food and water available. As soon as the river starts flowing, there it comes. Yes! Come on, river. Do your thing. Dry that. Oh, yes. It's nice and hydrated. Get your hydration in. The fields are going to be planted. Everything's going to go nicely. I do want to start building. I think that's going to be the cycle for this next one is to build up some levees. Something very satisfying about watching it go. But the question is, where should I build the levees? I kind of want to hydrate this side. Now, I could do things like the... Um, where are they? Is there no water towers anymore? I kind of want to start harvesting metal too, since we are really close to it right up here. And they didn't taste waste any time or making the carrots. Do we need more babies? Ah, sure. Why not? Could build up another barracks against my better judgment. 
And I'm going to clear this out. We're going to put that levee right across through here, I think. Because it's closer. Why? Why not right here? What am I doing? Why did I do that? I don't know what the difference is. We're going to build that levee straight across this way. Or the dam. We need the levees now. Unlock that. Plenty of science. And I'm hoping they can build that one. Can they reach it? I think they can reach it. We have six unemployed people. And by people, I mean beavers. I don't know what to do with them. I don't have enough wood. Maybe I should put a pause on the baby making pods. What happens if you pause a baby maker with a baby maker in it? I don't really know. I'm going to do it, though. Seems kind of cruel and unusual, but whatever. There's literally nothing else for my beaverlings to do. I'm even trying to find work for them to do. <laughs> we just have, like, seven freeloaders here just doing nothing. I can't... I can't do anything without wood. I didn't think of that earlier, but I do have these coming up at 50%, so that's kind of nice. Uh-oh. Illa died of old age. I probably don't need this. Uh, should I cancel it and try to build a levee? I don't think it matters either way, because I'll just be stuck next time. 65%! Man! I wanted to build a levee and flood everything! I guess the better play is probably to go over here. I wonder if that's in range. Ooh, it would be close. I gotta do it. I gotta cancel this barracks. Hopefully I get the wood back. I don't know if I do. That would not be good if I don't. We'll turn this back on and this back on. Those 32 logs are gone, aren't they? Poop. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. So I'll do what any big brain gamer does and reload a save file. Haha. -ha. Good idea. Thanks. All right. So I'm gonna unlock the platform. And then we're going to put a platform there, a stair here. Then we're going to drive the road from there to there, there. And then we can do another platform or another stair down here. I'm thinking they might be able to climb up over on this side. And if they do, can I put a, a road? I can. Then we could probably harvest those trees sometime in the future. If we ever get anything harvested again in the history of harvesting things. I feel like this entire wet cycle has been squandered by just waiting for pine trees to grow. I could have planted the maples. I was looking at this, but they take nine days to grow and they give me one log compared to 12 days for two. These maples though, these things are good. Or the birches. The birch are nine to one. This is uh so this is a nine or a one ninth ratio. This is a one sixth, and then this is a one third. So maples are good if you can have or water that goes all the way through the wet dry cycle. We we'll have to try to get that sometime in the future, and this is just perfect. The next wet season is coming, and by wet season I mean dry season, and it's coming. I don't know if I'm going to be able to survive. <laughs> I really don't. We have too many mouths to feed. Nine people unemployed, and by people, I mean beavers. They're beaver people. They're starting to... Wait, what? Oh, no, they're not starting to build that. They don't have any resources to build that. Of course not. This is a tough map. Yay! <laughs> Finally a tree with 1.3 days remaining. Oh, we have work to do. Hey, hey, start working, lumberjacks. Trees, cut them down. Eat them up. Hopefully we get, like, th I don't know, a few of them anyway. Oh, this is so close. We don't even need that house. I just don't want to waste the 32 logs right now. These guys are wasting their time planting another crop of carrots, too. Oh, good. That barracks was created. Awesome. We have room for it now. All right. The next step would be to make these so we can cut across to get this these trees in the dry cycle. That would be cool. I'm going to turn these back on, the lumber mill and the power wheel. It looks like we are going to get quite a few trees put up, too, so that's great. I need to plan this out properly. We need four planks, eight planks... 12 planks, 16 planks. And the dry season has started. I just need a couple more trees. Just a few more. Oh, one made it. <laughs> that was fun. It was drying out and will die in 13 days. That's okay. We will definitely kill it before then. I just need a bunch of different planks here. That's all I need. And you know what? I need a path on that. Which is weird. I don't think I like having the having to put paths on on platforms and stuff. Okay, we need one more plank here, and then they'll build this one. I'm cool with that. Did this get built at all? Oh, it is. It's completely built. The levee is completely built. Yikes. I have 37 logs, though, so that's fantastic. And we made it down to the river bottom now, so we've got that going for us. It does look like we can cross all the way over, which is good. Come on, build that other stair up. Build that other stair up. You can do it. I have faith in you. Down to 27 logs but we should be able to take care of these. 
So that's cool. Yes! No. Come on. Wait, you built that? You built... I built that. You built... I built that. We, we built that. Come on. Yes! Stairs are up. We got more trees to kill. Woo! That's awesome. I like killing trees. It's my favorite favorite pastime. All right, so that means the next step would be to continue making the levee across here. I'll have to build the stairs down and then levee it. It's gonna cause major floods, but I'm cool with that. Oh, these are maple trees too, aren't they? No, they're birch. Shoot, we only get one log out of those. That's too bad. I wonder if these are in range. Can I? Nah, not quite. I could build up and get some of these logs too, it looks like. They might be close to being in range. Oh no, we're out of food. Oh, we're out of food. Oh, that's not good. We're out of water, too. Oh, that's also not good. Qui-Gon Jinn died of old age. That's not good. T well, that's fine. I don't really care about Qui-Gon Jinn. All right, I'm going to try to build up a gathering flag over here. And you should be able to get us some more snacks. I'm just hoping that's still in range. If I can drive a road over to you, my dude. No, at least we can get a couple of bear... Oh, really? Is that not in... Oh, it's still in. Somebody come build that, please. I just need a, I just need a beaver to, to come over and click on the button, and it'll, it'll be done. I'm hoping nobody die. Oh, they're dying of thirst. Vold died of thirst. That's not cool. D is this how the beavers go extinct? Is this how my beaver people go extinct? I'm not looking forward to that. Oh, balls. Three more died of thirst. No, no! Stop dying! Stop dying! The drought's ended. You guys can go drink and stuff. Be merry and make babies in your weird little baby pods. Oh my word. I have I have six left. I have four left. I have three left. I have two baby beavers left. Come on. Come on. I need this thing. Somebody. Oh, great. Where, where do they? They're working. They're... Okay. This. Can I prioritize this like up the bejeebers? No. Priority. I need to turn everything off. This is not good. I need everything turned off to try to save this. You're gonna die. Where are you going to work now? Who's left? Where are you going? You live at the barrack, works at the district center. No. Now where do you work? You're trying to be a lumberjack. A lumber beaver. Now where do you work? Deep water pump. Go! Get yourself some No, that's you No, you dumb animal! Who's left? Who's left? Nobody's left! No! <laughs> oh, my beavers is dead. Wait, what? Hold up. We could do it. We could. We have technology. Never mind. Waiting for nutrients. Well then. <laughs> Shoot! At least I got a good idea how to play now. Which is kind of, Wait, they actually can live. They are living. <laughs> we just put our population in cryo sleep. Um, <laughs> shoot. <laughs> That's hilarious. Anyway, guys, I think I will end the episode with that. That hit me a lot harder than I thought it would. The lack of wood for this video. I think we will restart in a couple more days. If you guys want to see that, let me know. And keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. And a special thanks to all of the channel members and the Patreons, including Alan H., Apollo Bunny, Otto Dave, Ben, Dickie J., Desby, Eagle Ark, Maxer, Whip It Good, Baron Fox, Zarnoff, Deegan, Jason M., Ral, Iffy Sphere, Splattersax, and Joe B.